Okay, we're at Bruce's Corvette in Albuquerque. And we got a torque tube that needs rebuilding. I have a set of cyber gray ones up there. For mm, we're going to try and show you a little bit about how that's done. Got 105,000 miles on this. And uh, he thought he was buying factory ones. It needs rebuilding. I think that's what they do every 100,000 miles. But we'll find out. Bruce is the best man for the job. I live in Las Cruces and I drive to Albuquerque whenever I need work done on my car. <laughs> Well, it sounds completely normal, but we're going to show you. We're going to show you something. Yeah, this is the only place to go. You got to afford that. Running up on the lift. If you get close to this, you can hear it. How noisy it really is. Now I think. Oh, here's one. Yeah, it drives that. He's up above the exhaust pipes. Runs inside. Housing. This is a different car, which is not making any noise. There's a plant. Okay, we took the cover off, and there's no noise. Okay, this is what one should sound like. All right, just for comparison. Rear cross member. I'm going to take it and put it in the back of my truck so we can wash it all off because it's, it's not that dirty, but squibs. Yeah, that's, that's stuff I can't get to when I'm detailing. Yeah, nobody can clean that. So I put them in the back of the truck and took them to the power wash and blast them off. And there's the stock mufflers that nobody likes except me. Wow, transmission had to come out. There's the torque to housing. And there's a big ass space. Damn, a lot of stuff has to come off. See, that's not really a project that you'd want to try at home. That transmission probably weighs about 300, with the diff on it, I don't know, 300, 350 pounds, maybe a little less. Wow. But yeah, you don't want to try and stab that thing back in there when we're going to the chest. Exhaust. Oh yeah. So. Mm. There's the old, what is that, magnesium or aluminum? The drive shaft? It's a little bit. Aluminum, nice. Parts. This is a problem that we have. Not that goes on here. Well, it, it wouldn't come off, it was frozen. It took two or three threads off. But, we're gonna put a new nut on it. Getting one is, uh, hmm, it's not like an everyday item. Unless you're in Michigan. Unless you're in Michigan, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, that's good. <sighs> yeah, I was really worried. I thought maybe, I thought, oh shit. But 
Okay, so the snap ring treated me better than usual. But you can see it's, it's serious. So here's the mess. This, uh, all you guys that are old school and do U-joints too, you know, with, you start getting that red rusty crap. That's a sure sign that we've got a bearing failure in there. However, the rubber couplers on these cars, man, they're usually just tougher than hell. I mean, they're not even showing signs of, well, check it out. All you Corvette fans, look, dude, Kia, that's cute. So here's your front one and the bearing retainer. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel great, but it's not. I don't think it's the cause of our noise. I never make videos, so bear with me. Well, this one doesn't feel that bad either. Start taking it apart. I'll update you with what I find. Help Brad out here, because I know he's very interested in what's going on. This is the way I remove it. I mean, I'm sure some people take it apart in pieces. But I find it's much, much easier to remove as one giant chunk. I like to clean these splines and put a little grease on them. I find it slides back together a little easier. Here's where I've seen people screw up too. That clamp's kind of hard to see, but there's a clamp in there. Here it is. This clamp takes this 10 millimeter Allen head bolt. Make sure you torque that. I believe the torque spec is 60 pounds, but make sure you torque it. Don't hit it with an impact. I've seen that break before. It turns into a total disaster. So I've already removed the torque converter bolts because once again I think it's easier with it up in the car to remove the torque converter bolts okay so let me get the torque tube off of there and we'll see if the bearings are what's causing this noise pretty sure that'll be the case so let me tell you a little story about this snap ring that holds the torque tube in see the two ears of it this snap ring is huge and it's just harder than hell so Safety glasses, not a bad idea. Don't park any like real nice cars around while you're like taking it off in case it comes flying off. Once you take that snap ring out, you're gonna gently, and I said gentle, with a rubber mallet, you're just gonna tap on the end of the input shaft and the whole mess is gonna slide out the back. And then you're gonna have to take it and press the bearings on and off and Get some Torx bits ready because you're probably going to break a bunch of Torx bits trying to take the couplers off. Okay, that was part one of the Corvette Torque Tube situation. Um, the average person wouldn't even notice it, but when you uh, pull up next to a drive up window and roll your window down, you can hear that sound coming from underneath bouncing off the wall while you order your, your food. And that's when it really got my attention. And I thought, what the heck's going on here? So when we changed the transmission fluid, we popped those covers off and we noticed that it was really making a lot of noise. So this video is just to show you kind of like uh, what it sounds like and where it's at and all of the stuff that has to come off before you can uh, get to rebuilding it, but getting all those parts apart, uh, um, it's not very easy to do. There's snap rings that are exceptional, exceptionally large 
and it's, uh, the bolts are exceptionally tight and as you saw one of them didn't even want to come off and so it pulled the threads off we think if we put a new nut on and put some blue Loctite it'll 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 hold but that particular nut does not need to be that tight because it's not holding any force all it's doing is holding components together it's not holding anything from coming apart so but the next video will show you a little bit more about uh, rebuilding the torque tube and maybe depending on the time uh, how it's all going to go back together okay thanks for watching